Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a luxury unboxing video. Yes, you heard that right. I have been selling off some of my luxury collection and in order to get the bag in this box, I sold my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. You may remember last week I showed you a new Prada bag that I got after selling my Nylon Prada Re-Edition 2005. If you don't remember that, I will link that video down in my box. But this item is the one I got when I sold my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Now, you may say, why did you sell your Pochette Matisse? You just told us that you were selling your taupe Cassie because you had your taupe Pochette Matisse. Well, I just decided it didn't work for me anymore. I have two Cassies left. I have the Signature Chalk Color Block Cassie, and then I have the Aurora Cassie. And I just really cannot see myself letting go of either one of those. I don't know why, but I'm still okay that I let go of the taupe one. And I'm okay that I let go of the Pochette Matisse because in all honesty, I've only carried it probably three times since I got it last fall. And I sold it to a consignment store, the same one that I sold my Prada re-edition to. And that consignment called Love My LVOE. If you watch Candy's channel, Candy's Sweet Love for LV, I'll pop her channel link in my description box. I'm sure you've heard the name Love My LVOE many times because Candy does buy a fair amount of beautiful items from the lady that runs that business. And I have, I have not bought an item, I don't think. I may have bought one, but it's been a while. But I've sold several items to her. So if you're looking for a place to sell pre-loved or new luxury items that maybe just didn't work out for you, you might reach out to Love My LVOE on Instagram. That's the best way to reach her. And if you don't have anything to sell, you should definitely follow her anyway, because she has a revolving amount of inventory that she posts pretty much daily, and you may just find your dream bag there at a great price. Anyhow, so this is one of my dream bags. I've been thinking about this bag for years and I didn't really pick the right color to wear for this video. This is the first time all day I've been dressed at all. I mean, I haven't been running around naked, but I've got like a borderline kidney infection right now and I'm just not feeling myself. And so I wasn't even going to do a video, but I really want to get these well, I have more than one. I really want to get at least one of these two bags out. So there is another unboxing coming. And then I think there'll be another one after that. Well, I know there will be as long as the item ships. But I really wanted to get this item out of the box so that I could sit it next to me and pet it since I feel kind of crummy. But this is my bag of the day. You all may not have seen this very much. This is a St. Laurent collage bag in the color seaweed. And I was not wearing this outfit today. I was actually wearing, I don't know, it may have been the outfit I filmed in last. I was wearing that outfit for a couple days because it's been a rough couple days. But anyway, I thought it looked good with this camo top. So I went ahead and put this on. And inside I have my beautiful new card holder from St. Laurent, as well as my Louis Vuitton key clay. So I have all the other regular stuff in there too. I just wanted to show you that I am using my new card holder. I'm super pumped about that. One thing that I'm gonna have to get used to is this emblem. I'm sort of worried that it's going to scratch my bag on the way in. This bag is fabric below the leather strip on the pocket in the middle. So as long as I clear this bit of leather right there, I'm golden, but it is something to think about if you buy a small leather good or wallet that has an emblem on the front because it may scratch up delicate leathers like lambskin. This bag comes with a gorgeous chain and the leather bit at the top so you can wear it either crossbody or long shoulder or carry it top handle. 
And I love it. I would say though that I prefer the small Lulu to this bag and it's, I think it's still less expensive than this bag. But I love having variety as well. As you all know, I buy multiples and things I like. I do have a multiple in this. And so I'm happy to have this and to wear it today. It's a great size. Let's get into the box. I'm gonna have to tell you guys, well, maybe I won't, when I'm going to start the unboxing since I rambled for so long. So this came from, and I, and I need to pause again. This came from Jess's Closet, and I think I'm saying it right. It's D J E S S A S space closet. And I think you say it just as closet. And I'm sure she'll let me know if I'm saying it wrong. But she is on Instagram and she is also, her name is, well, her name's longer than this, but she goes by Shaney Matthews on Messenger. She's fabulous. She gets, I don't know how she does it. She's a personal shopper. She gets designer items at fabulous prices. And they come oftentimes straight from the department store from which she orders. This item, I got it for under $2,000 by a little bit. And then it's currently on the website for $25.50 plus tax. And that was all inclusive. And she even sent me the email showing me, you know, where she got it from. And I'm just flabbergasted. It came directly from Matches Fashion which is a well-known, awesome department store in the United Kingdom. And it may be, she may, she may be able to get some good deals because she has a residence in Europe. Sorry, I just bonked my pole. <laughs> my, my tripod pole, get your minds out of the gutter. But it may be she gets some good deals because she also has a residence in Europe, but it also may be that she just is adept at you know, working with businesses with volume and she can get good deals for us that way. But I'm telling you that this was like, it was about 25% off, I think. I mean, yeah, well, well, I guess it was 20% off retail, but if you add tax in, it was more than 25% off. So it is a Gucci bag. So let's open her up. And guys, I know I'm not probably quite as excited as I was for the Prada bag, but it's only because I don't feel well. Otherwise I would be shaking. I'm just, you know, when you're, when you're, um, I'm gonna move this down. You know that when you're sick, it's almost like your, your level of excitement just can't get above here. Normally you'd be here. Well, I'm like here. And I just want to get this out because maybe it'll get me up in the middle somewhere. So here's the bag. Okay, so this is kind of funny. I have had this bag in the camera style twice in this color, and I've sold it both times. The camera style looks like this. They recently came out with this brown version with the diagonal stripes. And on the back, it doesn't have anything. So it's very incognito. Now, when this bag came out, it had the chevron stripes and on the camera bag, you just have the chevron. You don't have these arched ones. And I'll pop a picture of the camera bag in here. But on the back of the camera bag, and if I can find it, I'll pop a picture of the back of the camera bag that was in this color here. Anyway, on the back, it's got the GGs. And I got the camera bag twice because of the GGs. And on the back of this bag, there is a heart. And I did not like that, not at all. I mean, I just think, I just thought it looked terrible. I mean, terrible, but you know what? Hearts are in style right now. I have a ring that has a little heart, like in the side of the ring, The I think it's called like the basket. What's it called? The cathedral. On the side of the ring, there are hearts. It's a gorgeous ring. When I bought it, I'm like, I love everything about this ring except for the hearts. And so I've always been sort of against hearts. Like I haven't wanted to wear, I've had one heart necklace in my whole life and it was sort of tipped sideways, which made it pretty to me. 
but I've never been a heart person for jewelry or bags. And now I'm looking at the heart bags that people are unboxing from Coach and thinking, oh, maybe I, maybe I do like hearts. The only thing that's holding me back on those, though, is the shape. I feel like it constricts or restricts what you can put in it. And so if I start seeing all the what's in my bag, what's in my heart bag videos, and everybody can fit everything in the kitchen sink in them, I'm going to be in trouble. But I feel like this is a little piece of what everybody's all excited about, but it's on the back of the bag, so it's just for me. And let me just pop her open so I can get the chains free. This has a little push lock opening right there. See how easy that is? They tuck the chains underneath this paper here. So now I've got the chains free. And I can show you the bag. I can try it on for you. I mean, I am wearing green, so it's not really the best color for it, but this is like a nudie pink. On the Gucci website, it's called Dusty Pink. On Matches Fashion website, it is called Neutral. So it also goes by the name Porcelain Rose. They're all the same. It's a very smooshy bag and it can get saggy and it can also get pointy up here at the top because the grommets are placed like this, which if you wear it crossbody and you're using this portion of the strap, this will get pointy. So I have ordered an organizer and this time my organizer is coming from Joy and Bag. I don't have any sort of a relationship with them other than I've ordered from them more than once. And I found that their organizers are very stiff. And so I wanted something rigid for this bag as well as for one of the other bags that I may have coming to or that maybe, no, it's not already here as well as for one of the other bags I have coming. <sighs> so I'm getting worn out, but let me try this beauty on. So this is the Gucci Marmont Matalasse shoulder bag. And Matalasse refers to the quilting and the stitching on it. It feels like a calfskin to me. It feels a lot like the Saint Laurent small Lulu bags, like this style. And this style is kind of smooshy on the base too, but it does have a sensor divider in it. And I have never had trouble with this bag having a saggy bottom, but I have seen many people wear this bag. And when you put it under your arm, it smooshes and it sags. You could probably fix that by just putting a base shaper in it and you could even make your own. But I wanted the organizer because I feel like the capacity on the inside of this bag is kind of small. I mean, it's not tiny by any means. It's bigger than my re-edition. And it only has this one zippered pocket in the back. The lining is a really soft micro suede. I think on the website, they just call it suede. It smells like it could be, but I don't think it is. If it is, it's got a really low nap. I think it's just like a faux suede. And the rest of it, like I said, it's they call it leather. So I'm guessing it's calf leather based on how it feels. It feels hardier to me than my Longchamp brioche bags, which are lamb. And I know those are lamb. This feels more durable. So that's a good thing. I have heard people say these wear really well, except for getting smashed and pointy. One other thing that I wanted to mention is my camera styles of this bag felt to me much softer than this one does. So I almost wonder if Gucci addressed some of the sagging and smooshing issues with this bag by putting a stiffer leather on this style. Because the camera style, it's, it's a little more resilient because it doesn't get smashed under your arm and it doesn't have a chain pulling at an odd angle in the same way that this bag does. So here she is on the shoulder. I think it's super comfortable where it hits. It's very cute. I have the chain kind of overlapping slightly on the leather bit, but I don't find it uncomfortable at all. It's a nice curved style chain. One thing is that sometimes the chain will get slightly twisted, so you have to adjust it so you get the leather bit positioned correctly on your body. And there it is crossbody. It really, on me, I'm 5'8". It hits me in a really nice spot. But I do not anticipate wearing this crossbody. It's just too light of a color of leather. It's too beautiful for me. 
to want to wear it like this where it can bump into things. And that was a big reason why I didn't keep the camera bags because I saw a lot of wear on the camera bags right here, not on mine personally, but on others that I saw in person and on the Relove Market. And I found that when bags are fragile, the best way to wear them, in my opinion, is on the shoulder because you're protecting them with your arm. You can hug them into you. And so this bag, it's it's shoulder bag for me, unless I'm in a pinch and I need to make sure it doesn't fall off my shoulder for some reason. So that is my beautiful new Gucci Marmont in the porcelain rose slash dusty pink slash neutral color palette. Ordered from Jess's Closet for probably 20 to 25% less than retail, depending on your tax situation. I highly recommend her. I'll link her closet in the description box. I highly recommend Love My LVOE, whether you're buying or selling, and I will link them in your description box. Just keep in mind though, if you are selling, it is a service that Love My LVOE is providing to you. And so expect it to cost you some money because they're not going to sell it for you for free. And so I'm just delighted that I was able to do some swaps and I've got more swaps to show you here in the future. So if you want to see what they are, you better stick around. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol and then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at thehandbaghousewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.